What is Genshin Impact other than one big road trip between the Traveler and Paimon? Zhongli's like that old gas station attendant you run into off Route 66. Today we're going to determine which Genshin character I would most want to go on a road trip with. Who am I going to be stuck in a vehicle with for the next, uh, where are we going? Hold on, wait, we need to decide where we're going. Just out of curiosity, how long would it take to get from LA to New York City? <laughs> yeah, no, we're not, we're not going that far. What about Austin, Texas? 20 hours. Okay, that's a good two-day road trip. We're going to Texas, baby. But before we hit the road, thank you to Opera GX for sponsoring today's video. Opera GX is a web browser built specifically for gamers. Customize your interface with one of many GX mods, like this Genshin Impact-inspired theme called The Traveler. The custom background music, keyboard sounds, open and closed tab sounds, colors, and general theme bring the world of Tavat to you, whether you're in-game or browsing online. There are plenty more unique and stylish mods for you to choose from in the GX store, which can easily be enabled or disabled using the mods menu in the sidebar. Other cool features include animated wallpaper add-ons. Ooh, how fetching. Quick import tools to transfer settings from your previous browser, including bookmarks, browsing history, and even Google Chrome extensions. And my personal favorite, a pop-out video player. Watch YouTube guides while browsing Genshin builds, or keep tabs on your favorite anime while you do some work. I'll solve math problems with my left eye and watch Kumax videos with my right. Maybe I don't do that last one, actually. You can download Opera GX for free using the link in my video description or pinned comment and customize your browsing experience today. Thank you again to Opera for GX for sponsoring this video. Now buckle up, because it is time to hit the road. All right, now I have been on quite a few road trips in my day, most of which I am the one driving. So who wants to be my passenger princess? <laughs> Noelle versus D Luke. Noelle's got like mom Fred energy. She's gonna pack so many snacks. She's gonna have the foresight to pack enough food so we don't need to like stop every five seconds at a Wendy's. I'm gonna go Noelle for sure. A versus Layla. Do I trust either of these ladies behind? the wheel. Wait, oh god, I forgot. I forgot about that factor with Noelle and D-Luke. I think it's okay. A 100% does not know how to drive a car. Okay, uh, before everyone yells at me, uh, this is like a modern AU, okay? If they were dropped into our world, don't be- Well, um, actually, A has a license to drive, um, a domain expansion dragon. I don't know. <laughs> I trust Layla a little bit more than A to help me drive. Rosaria or Dane Sliff? Rosaria is gonna hotbox you. Dane Sliff is probably gonna get us lost. Do you get hotboxed with cigarettes or <laughs> lung cancer hotboxing? I think Rosaria and I would have an awkward time. I'm gonna go Dane Sliff. Ganyu or Kaching? Ganyu seems like that gal that would be in the passenger seat with like a giant map getting like all stressed out and I'm like, dude, we just use the GPS. You don't... <laughs> okay, but what if it's incorrect. We need to double check. Kaching's serious. I feel like I trust her. Yeah, I, I don't see her getting us into any trouble. I just don't think she'd be the most fun, but like whatever. Hu Tao or Sucrose? Just, I just don't think I'd have fun with Sucrose. Hu Tao seems more fun. Candace or Toma? I think these are both good options. I don't, I don't see any negatives here. My little vision right now, because okay, this is a two day trip, right? 10 hours each day. That night that we stop in, where would we probably stop? Arizona. We'd probably stop somewhere on the border of like Arizona, New Mexico for the night, if I had to guess. Toma, the second you like got to the hotel, he'd be like, oh, shoo, shoo, me, me, me. I don't know. I just feel like Candace and I like, I mean, she's got like a seriousness to her as well, but I feel like I could convince her to go out with me and, and we can like go out to dinner and like, I don't know, just bop around for a bit. I don't know. I think it'd be more fun to hang out with her. Jinyan or Yanfei? Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, here's the factor here. What music are we listening to in the car? Because Jinyan would be listening to some rock music, and I am always down for that. Yanfei, we'd be listening to NPR. <laughs> She'd be listening to podcasts. No, Jinyan. All right, she got better music taste for sure. There's so many factors. Barbara or Chi Chi? Definitely not Chi Chi because she is a child. She cannot drive. She will. Well, well, Barbara's pretty young too. Okay, at least Barbara probably has a fresh driver's license. At least she has one. Chi Chi is not allowed to drive. She's not allowed to be behind the wheel. So I'm sorry, but if I was the only person responsible for driving for these entire 20 hours, I would want to cry. So I need to be able to swap back and forth with somebody. Okay, Noel or Layla. Noel. Dane Sliff or Kaching. Has anyone ever told you two that you have semi similar personalities? Um, which one of you two would listen? 
listen to better music with me in the car. All right, when it's difficult, I need to come up with a scenario. We blow a, a, a wheel. <laughs> what do they call it? We blow a wheel. We pop a wheel. What is it called, man? I've never done it before. Something's wrong with our car. We're stranded on the side of the highway. Who's gonna freak out more? Honestly, neither of them. Which one of you knows how to change a tire? Probably Dane Slip. He seems a little bit more worldly. Like he, he knows some weird Boy Scout stuff that would help get us out of a pickle in case of emergency. Dane Slip is an Eagle Scout confirmed. Who Tower, Candace. Definitely Candace. I don't trust you, Tao. Dinyan or Barbara. Definitely Jinyan. Barbara has like that healer thing going on, but like knock on wood, hopefully nothing bad would happen on this road trip. So I'm going to go Jinyan for her, for her vibes. Noelle or Dane Slip. This is tricky, dude. What would we talk about? I feel like Noelle and I would have some good heart to hearts on this long journey. Dane Slip and I, would we talk? Do you think he's a snacky dude where he would be down to stop and get like an iced tea from McDonald's. Do you need to? Is it required? <laughs> Although here's a thought, would Noelle be kind of tense and she would be like, we don't need to stop for fast food. I brought sandwiches. <laughs> but she's also kind of a people pleaser. I feel like if I really wanted McDonald's, she wouldn't say no. You want know let loose, girl. Let loose. This is gonna be fun. Ooh, Candace or Jinyan. I'm just really stuck on this concept of me and Jinyan like head banging in the car, blasting Fallout Boy, like bonding over our old emo phase. She would be so fun. Hold the front door. We're going to Texas, right? Jinyan's got an axe. I don't know where she's from, but she's kind of giving Texas, okay? Are we going to her hometown? Is she gonna like, she knows. She knows what's good in Texas. All right, Jinyan might be carrying in this bracket fight. Noelle or Jinyan, you already know. I just gave a speech. I just gave a freaking speech. Okay, we've made it to the other side of the bracket. Let's see if anyone could live up to the glory of Jinyan on a road trip to Texas. Hello, this is Editing Kumax. Before we get to the second half of the bracket, I just wanna say I noticed in post that there's so many characters missing from this bracket. I don't know what happened. There's literally like half the characters were missing. Ningguang, Beidou, Zhongli, Xiao. There's a ton of people missing. I'm so sorry. I sort of noticed as I was going along, but like there's so many. I can't really afford to redo this at this point. So let's, here's the head cannon, okay? Not everyone is in town to go on a road trip with me, okay? These are the characters that were available and I had to select one from this pool. I'm still extremely confident in in the final result of this bracket fight. So nothing would have changed regardless if those characters were in here or not really. But just so you know, I'm sorry if your fave is not present. I will say though, if Hazo was here, I would love to road trip with him. <laughs> Okay, goodbye. Oh, interesting. Shen Ha versus Chong Yoon. I always feel like Chong Yoon sort of gets blasted in these because of his like temperature issues. Because you can't, damn Jackie, I can't control the weather. Stuff happens on the road. All right, I was road tripping where it just torrential downpour. I've never seen it rain that hard in my entire life. I was in the middle of nowhere. I was like in the mountains and it was so scary. I had to stop on the side of the road and like wait it out. And I thought I was gonna die, okay? In those circumstances, which y'all is gonna keep your cool because you're both pretty cool calm and collected however i think i'm gonna go shenha she seems a little bit more collected in like a multitude of circumstances Ooh, yoimiya or tignati my heart's telling me yoimiya because she looks really fun what kind of music do you think she listens to tignari's over here listening to npr with freaking yanfei i love him he's one of my favorite characters but i don't i don't know if he'd be the most fun on a road trip we don't need to stop at mcdonald's i have sunflower seeds <laughs> okay Yoimiya. All right, Yelon's gonna go through by default because of the age thing. Oh God, Scaramosh versus Ayato. Ayato also seems like he doesn't know how to drive because he never, neither of them know how to drive, dude. Both of these are passenger princesses. Oh no. Scaramosh is gonna put his stinky little toes on my dashboard. He's gonna kick his feet up. He's gonna take his shoes off. He's gonna throw his like Whopper wrappers into the back seat. I don't know, he just seems like inconsiderate. Ayato would at least be polite. Goro or Alhe? Them. I'll hate them. Oh. I'm sorry, I just had like war flashbacks to him telling me everything about the rules of the road or something. Did you know that when you're taking a left turn, you're supposed to go to the inside lane. If you go to the outside lane, you are technically breaking the law. You know what? I see Goro being a fun guy to go on a road trip with. He seems, he seems fun. He seems fun. He's also like somebody that I think I'd have a nice conversation with so it wouldn't get too boring. I'll hate them and I, no, we're not chatting. We're not chatting on this road trip. That's gonna be a very long 20 hours. Goro's a little girly pop. Like I think, I think we'd get along. Yeah. The most 
pained sigh. Someone said that Dory's actually not young, she's just very short, but she would not be able to breach the pedals. <laughs> so we still have a problem. But Bennett behind the wheel sounds like a nightmare. I'm breaking my own rule. I think I'm gonna have to go Dory on this one. I mean, I technically would trust her to like get us out of a scrap if we were in a bad situation. Despite the fact that she might not be able to reach the pedals, I think she would still be like useful on this adventure. <laughs> the Hito Sino. Honestly, Sino seems like a responsible guy, sure. And Ayaka versus Kaya. All right, if Ayato doesn't know how to drive, Ayaka definitely does not know how to drive. Kaya would be like Tokyo Drift drag racing. Mr. Man here would be going like 95 down a 60 highway. We get pulled. I've already made this joke in another video. Literally, he and then he gets pulled over and then he winks at the cop with his good eye. <laughs> anyway, that point still stands. We're going Kaya. All right, Shinha versus Yoimiya. This seems pretty easy. Yoimiya's way more fun. She's a road trip girly. Yelon versus Ayato. I get good vibes from Yelan on, on our road trip. She seems like she'd actually be a good driver. She would also speed, but I feel like it, we'd get there efficiently, okay? <laughs> I want to hear her playlist. I want her to uh, take the, the USB. What is it? Take the aux. Give me that aux cord, girl. Let me hear your playlist. She's got the baddie playlist. This was, this sounds really fun, actually. I'm down for it. Who wants to go down to Texas with me? Goro does. I know Arkaya. I know the rest responsible one but he'd be kind of boring kaya would be fun but we might get into a wreck <laughs> i gotta go with kaya though I, she seems like a fun road tripper okay this is tough this side of the bracket is kind of stacked i'm not gonna lie they both would be fun in a slightly different manner i feel like yelon would have been like everywhere she's traveled to she's very well traveled she knows the cool places to go when we stop for the night in arizona she's like i know of a really cool bar like let's go check it out i'm like yes although you me and I would be like rocking out in the car, singing some tunes. What do I do? Oh, they're both really good options. Maybe I, I should go Yoimiya for like the vibes inside the vehicle. Yeah, I feel like that's more reasonable. Moro or Kaya. I, the vibes are immaculate. I have to go Kaya. Like, I don't, need, I don't feel like I need to come up with a scenario. He just seems like a more fun guy. Okay. <laughs> Oh man, Yoimiya versus Kaya. The great road trip, starting in LA, ending in Texas, two days worth of full driving, stopping somewhere in Arizona. Where's Zhang Li? Wait a minute. He's too busy being a gas station attendant off Route 66. Where is he? He's not here. There's other people missing too. Where's Dia? Where's Jean? Dude, this bracket fight is whack. I'm so sorry. I didn't even realize. All right. Well, to be fair, Jean and Zhongli would not have made it very far. Dia, maybe, but I still feel like she wouldn't have won, so. That being said, Kaya versus Yoimiya. He's kind of giving me the sense of someone who, like, wouldn't be ready at the allotted time you're supposed to start driving, and he would be, like, really late to get onto the road. You know, you'd be at the hotel in Arizona and have to, like, kick him to get him to wake up in the morning and be like, we have to go. We're supposed to be on the road at 9.30. It's 9.50. You're still sleeping. Yoimiya seems like she would be kind of a bright and early peppy gal. I try trust that she didn't bring fireworks in her carry-on, so I don't think she's gonna blow up the vehicle. Speaking of which, apparently Klee is also missing from this list, but she not, again, would clearly not have made it very far. Is Kaya a Texas man? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with my gut and say that I'm gonna go with Yoimiya on our little road trip here. Jinyan versus Yoimiya. You know, it's like kind of a fun little exercise. I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna spoil the video, but if I was like to post this picture right here and be like, can you guess what the bracket fight is? No context. Like what, if these are the two fa finalists, like what category is this? <laughs> that sounds kind of fun. But also if I post that on Twitter right now, people are gonna like know who the finalists are before they even watch the video, right? All right, here's the thing. Jinyeon made it this far in part because of this Texas scenario. But I can't just pretend like every road trip is gonna be to Texas because it ain't, okay? This has to count for like any road trip you go on to anywhere. Wherever in the world you end up road tripping, this person has to be like the best choice. Both of these gals probably have really good taste in music. Both of them seem responsible enough to take the wheel if we want to split the driving. Jinyeon does seem a little bit nervous, but only in certain circumstances. As long as there's not like 
a mouse stowing away in our car, I think hopefully we're fine. I, I would be afraid in that scenario too. Both of them seem like they'd be down to stop off the side of the road and get some McDonald's. Neither of them would fall asleep at the wheel. Can we just all go together? <laughs> Can we just have like a girl gang trip to Texas here? I'm imagining a different scenario. We might not be going to the same location, but let's say we stop somewhere overnight to camp. I feel like Jinyan would be great. You know, she'd pull out the guitar. We'd be singing Kumbaya around the fire. I think having a musical party member is like, to your benefit when you're road tripping. It, it's good for entertainment, you know, it keeps things fun. I feel like you would loosen up and sing. And if she's, you know, in the passenger seat, maybe she can play some music while we're driving. All right, you know what? This is a first. I'm gonna go with my gut. Jinyan is officially my road trip companion. I think in most circumstances, she sounds like she'd be super fun to go road tripping with. As per usual with these bracket fights, the winner is somebody I was not quite expecting, but you know what? It was fun to find out. Where's Zhao? <laughs> All right, well, I'm sorry there were so many people missing from this bracket fight. I'll have to be sure to find a different one next time. Either way, I still feel very confident about the Jinyan W for this one. Even if there's people missing, I don't think anyone else would have won in this scenario. So let me know in the comments below who you would want to go on a road trip with and why. Let me know what kind of nonsense you think you guys would get up to. Or if you have any general funny road trip stories from your life, let us know. I'd love to read them. And of course, if you have any suggestions for a future bracket fight, let me know as well. Thank you as always for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.